I'm here so we can talk about bridge bikes, which are used for people who need more than feet or bicycles to get around, and they don't want the responsibilities and they don't want the costs of cars. Welcome to Bridge Bike. This is a conversation about designing and building bicycles that are suitable for people who need regional transportation. These are bicycles that are more capable than normal bicycles and yet help people avoid the costs and the responsibilities of car ownership. I hope to just introduce what we're up to, why we want to do it, and get your feedback and comments on how to contribute, how to play, and ultimately, how do you get one of these bridge bicycles. We hope you join the conversation. The very beginning of this concept came from talking with kids who really needed to have some transportation more than just walking around or where they could get on their bicycles and carrying what they could carry on their back on their bicycles, but they really didn't want to have the costs and the responsibilities of having a car. And I thought, let me look for bicycles that are a little more sophisticated than just a pedal push bike. I also talked with people who were commuting and they would go by public transportation some of the distance, but either at their first mile or last mile needed a form of transportation that could get them to and from the train. And I looked around at options for people, and what I found were some very nice and very expensive options, and I thought we needed to have a more accessible choice. Looking at the need for people to carry themselves and carry some of their things, having all-weather capability, and some need for security, not just for the bicycle, but for some of their possessions around the bicycle, I decided to embark on this project and hope you'll embark on it with me. So as a design project, I have some ideas about how I want to build the bridge bike, and I've got some basic designs in my head, and we'll get to very soon how we're going to put those into a computer to be drawn, discussed, understood, improved, and ultimately prototypes produced, partly because I want to have one, and perhaps as a road to bringing these things into production. The basic features of the bridge bike that I think are important is it, it shouldn't require a license, it shouldn't require insurance, it should have electric assist so that people can have an increased range when they use them, and it needs to be able to ride with bikes on bike paths, be able to park with bikes and things like that. It also needs to be able to ride with cars. It has to have an upright riding position. People have to be able to see the, the bike. They have to see the people on the bike. And the bike itself has to have lights and be visible day and night so that people can use it as alternative transportation. It has to have a degree of weather protection and needs to have some security for the bicycle itself, but also to have some trunk space where some nominal number of things can be left with the bicycle. And most importantly, these have to be accessible. As we get into the project, one of the things that's important to do is to understand how the bridge bike fits into the overall ecosystem of transportation. And then I compared scooters and motorcycles and cars and electric cars and all sorts of things. And made my I think it's important that a bridge bike carry a lot of characteristics of regular bicycles. No license required, no insurance required. I think it's important to use the electric capabilities that electric motors that have been developed for bicycles allow us. It needs Moving ahead with a comparison, if this is bridging the use case from bicycles to cars, it's going to share some characteristic with cars, but it's going to have a lot of differences. Cars require a license, insurance, there's a lot of maintenance and costs associated with the drivetrains of cars, and the bridge bike will have none of those things. Scooters really are a great option. They do have the problem where license and insurance require, is required. You do have a drivetrain to maintain. I think one of the big things is you can't use scooters everywhere you use bikes. It's just not allowed. So one of the things I wanted to know before I started this whole project was, could I design a bridge bike, and it was a possible design of bicycle, that had more than bicycle characteristics and yet didn't radically increase the cost? There are things on the market that do cost a lot more, that do almost everything I want, but they're essentially inaccessible because of the price. So my first prototype for the bridge bike was made out of popsicle sticks, and here's my prototype. And it was to prove to myself some basic things about how the bridge bike might be constructed and how it might fit together as the really basic elements on which we could build other things. And so the prototype essentially is a few popsicle sticks to show me that I could move in directions that would make a stable, fun bicycle and from a platform build a variety of other things. And if this suggests some ideas to you, that's terrific. We'll discuss them in many more details in the future, and I hope you'll join that conversation. We're going to look at how we can use CAD to do these systems, and this prototype will be the first step towards then designing the rough elements in CAD 
so that we can demonstrate the bicycle works first in software, then in prototype, ultimately, I hope, into production. The way to join us is to please chime in. Give us your comments down below. Subscribe so you can keep up with the conversation. And thank you very much for joining us. We'll see you next time.